Hello children, in previous videos you have studied about midpoint theorem and converse of midpoint theorem. What is midpoint theorem? The segment joining midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half of A. And what is converse of midpoint theorem? If a line drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle and parallel to the other side, then it bisects the third side. This is converse of midpoint theorem. Now we will solve questions from practice set 5.5. Question number 1. In adjoining figure, x, y, z are the midpoints of side AB. In this triangle ABC, x, y, z are the midpoints of side AB, BC and AC of triangle ABC respectively. AB equal to 5 cm. Length AB is given 5 cm. AC equal to 9 cm. And BC is given 11 cm. Find the length of XY, YZ and XZ. You have to find out the length of XY, YZ and XZ. No solution. In triangle ABC, X, Y and Z are the midpoints of side AB, BC and AC respectively it is given. In triangle ABC, X, Y and Z are the midpoints of side AB, BC and AC respectively it is given. So, XZ is half of BC midpoint theorem. Therefore, X is midpoint of AB, Y is midpoint of BC and Z is midpoint of AC. Therefore, XZ XZ is half of BC. XZ is half of BC because what is midpoint theorem? Segment joining midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and it is half of it. It means XZ is half of BC. XZ is half of BC. So XZ is half of BC reason is midpoint theorem. But BC is given 11 cm. So substitute here 11 equal to half into 11. Half of BC means half into 11 and half of 11 is 5.5. Therefore, XZ is equal to 5.5 centimeter. XZ is equal to 5.5 centimeter. In the same way, XY is half of AC. XY, this XY is half of AC. Again, reason is midpoint theorem. So, XY is half of AC, reason is midpoint theorem equal to half into 9. AC is given 9 cm, substitute here 9. So, half of 9. Therefore, XY equal to 4.5 cm, half of 9 is 4.5 cm. Next is, YZ is half of AB, again midpoint theorem. YZ, YZ is half of AB, again midpoint theorem. So, yz is half of ab midpoint theorem equal to half into 5. Length ab is given 5. So, substitute your 5. So, half into 5 and half of 5 is 2.5 cm. Therefore, yz is equal to 2.5 cm. Now, question number 2. In adjoining figure, Coordinator PQRS and coordinator MNRL are rectangles. In this figure, coordinator PQRS, PQRS and coordinator MNRL, MNRL are rectangles. These both are rectangles. If point M is the midpoint of site PR, then prove that SL equal to LR and LN is half of SQ. Again, if point M is the midpoint of site PR, it is given M is the midpoint of site PR. Then prove that SL, SL is equal to LR and LN is half of SQ. This we have to prove. Now proof. Quadrilateral PQRS and quadrilateral MNR. Uh, RLR rectangles. It is V1. Quadrilateral PQRS and quadrilateral MNRL are rectangles. Therefore, angle PSR equal to angle MLR equal to 90 degree angles of a rectangle. It is given PQRS and MNRL are rectangles. Therefore, angle PSR is equal to angle MLR equal to 90 degree angles of a rectangle. 
but this is a but this is a pair of corresponding angle this is a pair of corresponding angles on transversal sr corresponding angles on transversal sr therefore segment sm segment sorry segment ml segment ml is parallel to segment ps by corresponding angles there what is given quadrilateral pqrs and quadrilateral mnrl are rectangles angle psr is equal to angle ml r equal to 90 degree angles of a rectangle but this is a pair of corresponding angles of transversal sr therefore segment ml is parallel to segment ps and reason is corresponding angles test and this is your equation 1 now in triangle rps now see triangle rps r p s this triangle in triangle r p s m is the midpoint of r p it is given see this triangle m is the midpoint of r p it is given and m l is parallel to p s from equation 1 therefore l is the midpoint of segment r s therefore l is the midpoint of segment r s by converse of midpoint theorem by converse of midpoint theorem therefore sl is equal to lr what is converse of midpoint theorem if a line drawn through the if a line drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle and is parallel to the other side then it bisects the third side then it bisects the third side this is converse of midpoint theorem so in triangle rps m is midpoint of segment pr it is given segment ml is parallel to segment ps from equation 1 ml is parallel to ps from equation 1 therefore l is midpoint of segment ps reason is converse of midpoint theorem and this is your equation 2 if l is midpoint of segment rs means sl is equal to lr if l is the midpoint of sr sr means sl is equal to lr again angle pqr is equal to angle mnr equal to 90 degree angle pqr angle pqr equal to angle mnr is equal to 90 degree again angles of a rectangle angles of a rectangle but again this is a pair of this is a pair of corresponding angles on transversal qr this is a pair of corresponding angles on transversal qr therefore segment mn is parallel to segment pq by corresponding angle test corresponding angles are congruent that's why lines are parallel so angle pqr equal to angle mn r equal to 90 degree angles of rectangle but this is a pair of corresponding angles on transversal qr therefore segment m n is parallel to segment p q reason is corresponding angles test again angle p q r is equal to angle m n r equal to 90 degree angles of rectangle but this is pair of corresponding angles on transversal q r therefore segment m n is parallel to segment p q reason is corresponding angles test and this is your equation 3 now in triangle rpq now take this triangle in triangle rpq this triangle in triangle rpq point m is the midpoint of pr it is given then mn mn is parallel to pq from equation 3 therefore n is the midpoint of qr by converse of midpoint theorem by converse of midpoint theorem so in triangle rpq point m is midpoint it is given m is midpoint of segment rp it is given segment mn is parallel to segment pq it is from equation 3 therefore point n is midpoint of segment qr reason is again converse of midpoint theorem and this is your equation 4 now in triangle qrs l and and n are midpoints of side sr and qr respectively from 2 and 4 in triangle qrs 
L and N are midpoints of side SR and QR respectively from equation 2 and 4. Therefore, LN is half of SQ midpoint theorem. Therefore, LN is half of SQ reason is midpoint theorem. See, which triangle in triangle QRS? In triangle QRS, this triangle in triangle QRS, L and N are midpoints of site SR and QR respectively from equation 2 and 4. Therefore, LN is half of SQ and reason is midpoint theorem. Therefore, LN is half of SQ and reason is midpoint theorem.